it's just it's such, so many weird politics in the Christian world that I feel like Christian rappers saying that Christian can help. But then, you know, I talked to, to, to Ruslan about it and he's like, yeah, but when you're Christian, people expect so much of you, you know? They expect so, you know, and I'm like, yeah. When you say like when you say you're a Muslim rapper, no one expects most death. If they see him drinking or smoking, no one's like, ah, oh. you know, a brand newbie can say Muslim and they can smoke weed and blah blah. But as soon as you say you're a Christian rapper, people and I was like, what does that say about the, the power of your God's name? When you say the word Christ, people expect something of you. What does that say about the power of Christ? That should be more testament to your faith, not a deterrent to use his name. That's gonna help him witness to more people because when people see that you're not flawless, they're able to approach you with their sins and, and be in touch with you. And so I feel like, to me, I don't, I never see the point in that argument and I'll argue it till I'm blue in the face. But it's all semantics because I, I love them all. To me, they're my brothers in hip hop. Whether they want to believe hip hop is it, hip hop is it for hip, what, what Christianity for them is, is hip hop is for me. And to me, it's done so much good in the world. So however you want to use hip hop is fine with me. Like I said, that's, that, that's to me, that's how they should be with their Christian brothers and sisters. You know, as, you know, I think, I think that Christian rap has a great future. And as a fan of Christian rap from the 90s, I hate to see it be let go and left all on, and I'll say this, it's left all on Toby Mac's shoulders. Because nobody wants to help him carry it. There's just dope, there's dope people, man. Prop, Prop is one of my favorites, because he just has, you know, so much passion. And he's so smart. You know, that's another thing. People think that people of faith are just dumb. Just, you know, dumb believers, you know what I mean? You know, I just, and all the books I know are th is this book right here, you know? The good book. But there are Christian rappers who are brilliant I think, and, and are socially aware. I'm not just aware of what's going on in the church, but what's going on versus God versus the devil. Oh, I, I know, you know, about, you know, what's going on with social issues, you know? So I appreciate that. And that's, those are also the kind of Christian rappers I want to put on stage. Where when you listen, you start nodding your head, and then you're like, wait a second, you know what I mean? And it's okay to come out at the end of the cert. You know, you know, start shows like I come in the name of Jesus, but at the end, let them know where you're at, you know what I mean? And there's no Christian rap section of the store. There's no Christian rap section of iTunes, as far as I know, you know? I know who's a Christian rapper because I can look and it's not doesn't have explicit lyrics on it. And I can I don't know anybody in the features and I've never heard of the label before. That's what I was like, aha! When actually came out, I was like, who's this dude prop charting? Propaganda. Like I check the iTunes chart all the time. It's my job to try to like, okay, who's it? I'm at the, I was like, that's the dude from Toto. I know that dude. Like, I was like, really? I was like, aha. Christian rap. Alright. You know, and so I could tell that's how that's but most rap listeners aren't as smart as I am. They see you in the top ten of iTunes, it's not gonna say Christian rap, you know? It's you saying that. Like that's all I can, to me it's all I can do is sell you more records. The blogs aren't gonna not pick you up. Lecrae's been on every blog. D1 gets so much blog love, it's ridiculous. Like he's on sway in the morning, like none of this is gonna stop. So hold that banner, it's not, you know, before there used to be stores that may not carry you or you had to be only sold at Christian bookstores, but it's all in one place now. There's no Christian rap section of YouTube. So it's just you saying it and you professing it that's gonna get you more church gigs and sell you more records. It's not gonna stop this kid from watching you on YouTube. If there's a kid who's in third grade who's a Christian that has your iPhone and has his phone out at recess, is playing your video, when he shows it to them, there's not gonna be a cross hovering over your YouTube page. He's just gonna show it to this kid and they're gonna think it's dope. And then because you tell them that you're a Christian, they're like, oh, okay, Christian rap is dope. I know Johnny showed it to me at recess. That was, it was just as good as the Lil Wayne video I showed him. It, yeah, that's, I, that's why I think, I don't know. I don't know if this any makes sense. I'm sure I'll get a phone call. Um, but I guess the good thing about Christian rappers, I probably won't get beat up or shot. So that's good, you know what I mean? And there are Christian rap, Christian rappers and Christians who are fake. I had a Christian rapper dude tell me, I won't say from which crew, back in the day, I used to like, I used to get so mad at them. I'm like, man, they have all these chicks hanging out with them. And I was like, chick, fine chicks love to hang out with Christian rappers because they know they don't have to put out. I hated that. I was like, 
They hang out with this dude because they know he's not gonna press them for sex. They won't hang out with me because they know they gotta get down if they hang out with me. I used to hate him so much and one day I was like, bro, I was like, come here, man. I was like, how do you even do it as a man? I know why they do it, but how do you even tolerate being around that many beautiful women and not having sex? And he looked at me, he's like, we're just supposed to try to keep the faith, bro. And I was like, oh. I was like, oh. I was like, no, are you serious? I was like, oh. So, so then that's even more like you have sex by accident and then you guys repent and go to church in the morning. I was like, oh, this is the best game ever. I just re have too much respect. My family's too been in church too long for me to play with it. I, I can't play with God like that. Man, that, I don't know. I don't know why there's been, I mean, it could be, maybe we're living in the end of times and blah, 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 but my mom always tells me, man knows not the day or the hour or whatever. There's some other, more scripture, I get it all the time. So I don't know, but it could be we're living in the last day of times and the world needs it. Um, or it could be that the level the playing field is level now. There is no Christian rap section. Christian rap's not excluded this bookstore. It's it's easy access, so now it's it's easier to get. Um, it could be Christianity is there's no charts for religion. It could be bigger than it ever was, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I can't I haven't been able to explain it, but there is a rise of it. It is but also rap's been around a long time and I think it's finally okay. Rap wasn't allowed in some churches and now all the pastors that are 40 grew up on rap. So now they're not so against rap. Rap used to be the devil's music. They used to talk down on rap at church. And he's not even know, my pastor, my pastor Thomas did not know Christian rap existed. He did not care. He did not want Christian rappers coming to his churches. But now they're being invited to churches. You know, who's a Christian, um, Curtis Blow has a church like, Hip hop is hip hop has grown up, so I think that might be another thing too. Before Christian music was only gospel. If you didn't sing, it wasn't Christian. Now, like I said, well, you get a lot of pastors who grew up on Tupac, and they need something to listen to. So they're gonna say they're gonna promote Lecrae, like you know what I mean? They're gonna tell their choir, their you know their their congregation about it. Oh, I'll, you know, what is pastor listening to? Oh, pastors listening to Lecrae. Oh, it must be okay. And then you get parents. That's another thing too. Oh my gosh, so much money. Oh! Christian prayer. My mom did not hesitate to buy me a Christian rap tape. That's how I had so many of them. And that's why I still listen, listen to them. Because I knew I could get more of that stuff. A parent will buy a, their kid a Christian rap CD. Mom, can I download the new Lecrae? Yes! Can I get Christ in your ear every day? Yes. Instead of the rest of the nonsense you listen to? Yes. Triple E, yes. You know, Derek Meyer, yeah, right now. Give me your phone, I'll buy it for you, you know? Me and my wife adopted a teenager. If he told me he wanted a little crazy, CD, I'd go crazy. I'd buy him the whole discography. He needs that in his life. So maybe that's it, you know? Hip hop's getting bigger, it's actually acceptable. It's not the devil's music anymore. Parents have kids and they grew up on rap. And if you want to play something in your car with your kids, there's nothing better than the Cray, there's nothing better than D1, there's nothing better than Derek Minor, Triple E, Andy Manel. And I know I'm forgetting someone, I'm trying to drop everybody's name. But yeah, man, I'm a big fan of, um, of Christian rap. And Anomaly still killing the cells. Almost at 300,000 right now, 300,000 units. Yeah, amen.